These push more air, uh, play lower and louder than the Ultimax uh, originals. And by the way, they're cheaper. I am here with Brian, who is a speaker, transducer expert. What, what does Parts Express have going on that we should know about? Well, first of all, we do have the Ultimax 2 drivers. Uh, the Ultimax has been a very popular driver line for us, subwoofer line. And uh, these are actually, the Ultimax 2s are actually, have more power handling. They have uh, a better design, more aesthetic, uh, carbon fiber woven cones. If you want to pull yeah, one let's, up. Yeah, let's pull maybe. one up. So here we got the carbon fiber cone. Yeah, we tore this one apart just to, for today to show, uh, you know, the carbon fiber cone and the indexing on the edges where the actual, the rubber surround meets uh, the cone. It also out offers rigidity to the cone. When you just have a conical shape like this, uh, the little fold offers rigidity. And uh, and also the edge of the foam, uh, the uh, Santa Prince surround, actually tucks in here so it makes it more not only more aesthetic but it offers rigidity and it looks better if it's tucked in there the actual surround and i love that you uh, took the leads and it looks like they have been sewed or glued on yeah they're stitched. stitched they're stitched they're called stitch uh there's also a spacer between the uh two spiders and our all all her uh, original Ultimax, we had two uh spiders but they were sandwiched together so it really doesn't uh I use the analogy of a baseball bat. If I if I hold the bat down here, and you try to push it one way or another, it's easy. But if I hold it here and here, and you try to move it, it's not so easy. And that's what this offers linearity. Um, if you have a spacer in between the two spiders, and that's real and we, important for large excursion drivers. And when we're talking about linearity, we're talking about linearity going up and back in. So yeah, exactly. In. You want, uh, you want the linearity, because if not, that's when you hear, you know, uh, things scraping, and when you push a driver too hard, mostly in this case, a subwoofer. Speaking of things scraping, uh, you did something really neat uh, right here with your coil. You wanna talk about that? Yes, yes, this is called a ribbon wire. Um, it's, you know, copper, but it's actually flat. It's rectangular. It's uh, what they call a ribbon wire. And what you do, you get more L for the BL, and BL's your motor strength. You get more L. Uh, per uh, area. So uh, that's a good feature on these. Um, it's also got a, a you know anodized uh, black aluminum former for heat dissipation. And uh, I do want to mention that all these all have higher power handling uh, than the original Ultimax. And part they of have, that is due to this coil. Yes. Yeah, it's a, mainly due to that coil. Yeah, and they have more X-Max, which is due to the suspension and the coil, um, than the original Ultimax. So these push more air, uh, play lower and louder than the Ultimax uh, originals. And by the way, they're cheaper. They're and actually, let's, each let's, one of them's cheaper. And uh, for instance, that- Look, uh, show off the, should we show off the- um, yeah. So what we have here is, uh, this is the other part of the speaker. And first of all, what we have here is a, if you see the stainless steel badging on the back, I'm not sure if I got it set right, right I'll, there. I'll get it for you. Okay, and uh, stainless steel badging, peripheral venting, and uh, fluted in and out. Uh, it's got a, a aluminum sleeve down in there, the full length of the coil. And then it's actually uh, a lot more aesthetic. It has a large, super large aluminum uh, cap and that's due for inductance control. So uh, it actually lowers distortion. Uh, the others didn't have that, so uh, the original Ultimax. Also, I wanna mention that the 12 and 15 Ultimax 2 have a three inch voice call, not a two and a half. So a larger voice call, uh, hence, you know, it's more power handling, more linearity, and, you know, so they have more X-Max. So in all respects, these are, uh, you know, a, a much better driver. Than so the original Ultimax. This is a 12 inch dual two ohm. So we can either go one ohm with it or four ohm. Correct. And then it also has, I think I've read this on here somewhere, 800 watt RMS for the 12 inch. You're right. That's insane. And you said, I think before, higher sensitivity. Yes. So with the higher sensitivity and higher power handling, that means higher SPL that we can get out of this for Definitely. application. Yes. Yes, absolutely. So that's our line, uh, our eight inch, you know, they all uh, 
you know, are less retail price than the original Ultimax. I think these will be a, a good upgrade. They're worthy of the name Ultimax II uh, because they are in all respects better than that one. So AJC's got a great question. He said, hey, good morning, guys. What was the reason for going with the aluminum for the former? Well, it's heat dissipation. When you do black anodized aluminum former, the former's right here. He's talking about this. When you go black aluminized former, it gives you up to 15% more heat dissipation. So when all this coil heats up, when when uh, when vo high voltage goes through a voice coil, it generates heat, as we all know. And uh, what it does is you want to dissipate that heat away from this voice coil. Um, and so, and mostly adhesives and stuff like that that are around the voice coil. And if it starts off gassing, you know, and you get too much heat, you'll start smelling something before you get uh, total catastrophe. Um, but yeah, that's for black anodized, uh, you know, like a black car. If you put your hand on it, you say, well, that's hot. A hot white car, not so much uh, in the sun. So that's the same way with black aluminum uh, formers work. Um, now for uh, some drivers, you know, people say you should use a polyimide if you're looking for real good clarity. Well, on the subwoofer, that's not, you know, our, our you know, subwoofers are made to push air. Um, a high frequency driver, stuff like that, you may go with something other than aluminum. So with, so with the heat dissipation, that helps with the power handling? Yeah, yeah, it helps wick away that heat from that voice coil so that you can play it longer, louder, and, and harder. I, I, love, I, I don't know if you guys have ever seen this. Brian Romska said, hey, I had one of those 12s about 10 years ago, and one of your plate amps, the neighbors did not like me, but I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> so this is really cool. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this, but this is, of course, how the inner workings of the subwoofer work. We're just gonna put the coil right here and then it just slides right in. And then of course, when we're talking about the linearity, that's this going up and down in there. And obviously I'm not centered on it. So that's why you're yeah. hearing the scraping. Yeah, this one's a part. Um, we do have our 18 inch. If you go online, you look up the 18 inch Ultimate, Ultimax 2 or put in Ultimax, look at the bottom because they're not in stock yet, but they're uh, available for pre-order. And you can look there and look at the 18. We have the complete parameters, uh, specifications listed, and all the features and paragraphs of each feature so that you can really, the whole line uh, composes of those features or has those features, uh, but we don't have the rest of the shipment in yet, so we can't produce the spec sheets till we get actual production models. Uh, you know, we have uh, handmade uh, pre-production models, but here at Dayton Audio, uh, Parts Express, uh, we only do uh, specification sheets for actually production units. Now the cool thing about this too, guys, is when they do come in, I'm supposed to be getting an 18, so we'll be doing a build with that. We'll also be taking a closer look at it then as well. So if you ended up not making the live and you have more questions, throw them in the comment section. I'll try to answer those when I get some in stock as well, okay? Thank you, dude.